Uh, why does that look like a Hanks? It is a Hanks. Is that a Hanks? I'm looking at a Hanks. That is a Hanks, a Hanks, a Hanks. Hey, Dad. I'd like you to meet Margaret. Nice to meet you, Margaret. Nice to meet you, Mr. Young. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Time sure does. Take us straight and stronger to the corner of the line. You know, if you like, you could spend the rest of the night here. Oh, uh, I could spend the rest of my life here. This was our home. We lived here. Oh, Paul Bettany. Okay, I am afraid. What are you afraid of? Because this film has some um, powerhouse actors. Oh, yes. Robin Wright, Michelle yep. Dockett. We, we Paul know, Bettany. Yes, we know that they know what they're doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it seems that Tom Hanks and Robin Wright they got the Benjamin Button treatment, which are they're, they're being aged up or down as needed to tell in this film to give the different eras, uh, the different years that they were there. But this trailer is not telling me if they stay in that house their whole life. Like, what is this story about? What I'm looking at in this trailer, it looks like here, this location, this shot. I mean, this looks like one camera. I don't know if that's going to be the entire film is the camera in that one location in the one one position in that one room. But it looks like here as in that exact location through eons beginning in the dinosaur era up to the modern era, that location, that one place here. And it looks like it's going to tell a story, a story about people, a story about uh, civilization, a story about love um, and a lifetime, all in that one location. That looks cool to me. That's a cool concept to me. It's a cool concept. But now, will it will I be able to sit down for two hours and watch this movie? And will it be was will it have a good storyline to go in there to to justify the concept? We'll see. I mean, it's that's, that's, it's Tom Hanks and, and Robin Wright. I have faith. Well, but. that's what I'm asking. What is the storyline? Yes, okay, it's about families going through the the sands of time in one place. But what is the storyline? What is so special about this family? What is what is it that we were supposed to grab onto and be like, oh, other than the fact that it's a really cool concept about people living in the in this one house for so for so long like mm -hmm. what is what is the attraction here and this is where you're taking a risk on the filmmaker because you know you've got great actors you know you've oh, got yeah. a concept which could be either heartwarming or really thoughtful like something that you want to see depending on how it's executed but for this that trailer is telling me nothing and i it really is dependent on how it's executed if it's even going to forget good we're just talking interesting if it's mm. even going to be interesting yeah so. definitely focused on the the concept more than the story but it's yeah. it's yeah, yeah no I'm, we'll, we'll see as on that i mean it certainly got me interested i mean i know those people can act oh yeah <laughs> oh yes i'm here i'm here for it because i know and, and I think this guy did Forrest Gump too. Is that what it is? Robert Rob Zemeckis? Yeah. I mean, he's done plenty. Um, yeah, Forrest Gump, Castaway, yeah, okay. Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2, Back to the Future okay. Part 3, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, one of my all time yes favorites. Okay, so he can tell a story too. I, 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 Robert Zemeckis, I, I, I mean, old man, but he knows what he's doing. 
I, I'm just I'm interested to see where how this one is told. I mean, like Forrest Gump had a quality. It was so freaking long, but it had, <laughs> but it was good. It was good, and they had different locations. And whenever they went back to Forrest's house, it's like it had a quality about it where it was just like time traveling through the ages. Like I kind of feel like that Forrest Gump with at Forrest's house stuff in stuff. Greenbow, Alabama. No, not the boat, but no, his... Greenbow. That was the name of the uh, the the oh, town, Greenbow, okay. Alabama. Wow. Oh, right. Well, thank you. You obviously oh. watched that film. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> I, think that, like... I don't know the amendments to the Constitution, but I know these useless facts. <laughs> I think that those scenes in Forrest Gump set him up to maybe be the the outline or the blueprint of for here, because. Mm. Those scenes in Forrest Gump were really special when he was with Sally Field and it was Tom Hanks and then and they were just in their kitchen and talking and you know you saw how Forrest grew up in that one special spot yeah. and how he always came back home. So then maybe that work is the blueprint for here now and we're going to get a deeper, more thoughtful film and with great actors telling it, but it's going to be different in the sense where it's not going to be multiple locations um back home down home tugging on heartstrings down south story it's going to be this one location with a really special feel and maybe that specialness of that home is somehow conveyed through the screens and yeah. i'm telling, mean, it, telling a long story in yeah. one location yeah yeah i mean robert definitely has it within his toolkit to do that it's I, that, bobby zooms yeah bobby it. zooms can do it yeah so i mean I, i'm not saying that i won't am i skeptical mm-hmm. yeah but i like to see more yes will i watch it in theaters mm-hmm. we'll see it's not giving me A24, so I'm not sure. I mean, I <laughs> A24 with those... Did it have of- film festival laurels? <laughs> I, uh, that's really the determining factor, whether I'm going to go see it or I not. It's just no. A24 with those types of movies. This is definitely but, not an A24 film. But so. hey, it's it's a Bobby Zems, and he's kind of time-tested. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see yeah. how it works. 